Welcome back everybody. We're gonna get started by working on the timber contract. Um, we need to haul two medium logs and one long log to the sawmill. So the first thing we'll do is grab a log trailer here. I decided to pull out the white western star and I have equipped it with chain tires. That's right, chain tires. I also put the dice skin on because I feel like we're gonna roll the dice with this one. Pulling two, two loads at the same time without having the final upgraded engine. That's also why I decided to use chain tires so I could run the highway the entire way. So the first thing we'll do is head to the logging station up the road here. I think we all know where that's at by now, right? It's right by the gas station. Then we'll just backtrack to the highway and take the highway all the way around. Should be a fairly easy trip as long as we don't get stuck trying to get loaded. I don't think we will though. I decided to leave the off-road gearbox installed. It does give this truck a little bit more torque, it seems like anyway, which I believe we are going to need in this situation. The chain tires, they don't do, like I said before, they don't do horribly. They just don't do quite as well as the off-roads. They'll still get you through. This takes a little bit longer. And a couple of winches. There it is. I like to skip that little bottom part there. There's a lot of roots in there, and we'll just have to trudge our way through here and low. Coming back out might be a little tricky, but we can still make it happen, right? I'm gonna skip going in on that road. It's definitely the muddier, muddier option of the two. We'll just sneak in right by the trees up here, right here. Take a right, turn in, drive between the power line and the building. The snow's not deep here. Everything is fine. I am going to get turned around before I get loaded because trying to turn this thing around loaded is gonna be a pain in the butt. So I'll just pull up to the right here by this um, shack, I guess. And then see if I can back this thing around. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> just back it right up into the stumps. Let's get loaded. We need medium logs on the truck and also on the trailer. And then let's map out the direction we're going. Get this map turned around. So we'll head, we'll head right back across the road. Take that little section out of there. And we can go past the garage and follow the highway all the way around. It's gonna be a long trip. All right, so that's our path. We're currently sitting at the logging station on the south end, and we'll be taking the highway all the way around. So let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna leave just the way I came in. Turning my all-wheel drive off right away just so I can get a little bit of extra speed, or power, I guess, not speed, but power. A little extra power driving out of here. With all the weight on the axles, diff lock is definitely more than enough. So I added the dice skin because, like I said before, I felt like I was rolling the dice with these chain tires. It's a pretty sharp looking truck. I do like the colors. Wait, Western Star, I missed you, buddy. Where have you been? Sitting in the garage? Oh, you were at the paint shop. That's right. I forgot. And then I'll cut across here again. Seems to be the best way for me, at least from my experience. Trying to stay out of the bottom there. The deep, muddy stuff. This is probably the only part of the trip that's actually any real challenge for mud. I'll have to throw a winch from the trailer up to the tree. And I guess I'll have to throw another winch. Pulling right out of there. That's beautiful. White Western Star getting it done. Now that we're back to the highway here, should be smooth sailing. I'm just going to put it in high for a little bit here. And I guess I'll run auto. Might as well get some speed going now that we have chains around, right? We have total control. Kind of seems like this is too easy now. Just a Sunday cruising. Definitely miss this truck. I'm a big fan of the White Western Star. Probably gonna be using it here more now that we're finishing up Northport. And of course, you can never have too many trucks on the map, am I right? Gotta have trucks, get the job done efficiently. Got a little sticky here, but we're getting through it just fine. Yeah, buddy, back to the pavement. Let's go. This corner here, you do gotta be a little careful that you don't get going too fast. Good way to roll your truck right there. Smooth sailing. 
And I'm glad that we cleared out this roadblock earlier. Definitely going to help us in this situation. Although these rocks, come on now. Rocks are getting me hung up. Of course. I spoke too soon. I thought this was going to be an easy, easy trip. But uh, it's these rocks, I'm telling you, man. These rocks just pull right through there. Old Husky says, we got this. Now we're cruising again. Be careful right here. Uh, bumper smasher on those rocks. And this corner always gets me. I come ripping in here way too fast. I always slide over and hit the pole. Not this time though. Definitely burning through the fuel. Gonna have to swing in here, grab some. There we go. Leave the gas station and get the hell out of here. Back on the road again. Didn't even stop. Just did a turn and burn. Lake kind of slowed me down a little. Wasn't horrible, but it did slow me down. Water over the road. I wonder how many of those signs are in Northport. Keep seeing them everywhere I go. All right, so we'll hang a left here. Get into the muckier stuff. We're headed to the sawmill. So it's not too far up ahead here. We'll just leave it in high. Definitely a good logging truck. After we get the next engine in it, it should do even better. Which is coming soon. Been waiting for that engine for a very long time. The entire time we were in Michigan. Just cruise up the hill and we'll be there. Probably gonna have to put it in high going up this hill. Leaving everything turned off for now. Keep a little bit of torque. Seems to be doing okay. Come on man, don't stop me now. I'll engage the diff lock with just the rear wheels. See how... Nope. Come on. Powering out. Actually doing okay. This hill's a little treacherous, that's for sure. Not getting anywhere. Gonna have to winch. There's not a lot to winch to here, but we'll throw one from the trailer to the pole first so we can get pointed in the right direction to grab this other pole. Might not even have to. No, we have to. <laughs> no, we don't have to. Come on, White Western Star. All right, so I'm throwing a winch on that pole. It's trucking, <laughs> just barely, but it is. You got this. Don't give up on me. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't stop. It just doesn't have the power. It is a pretty heavy load, I gotta say. Well, I guess I'll have to winch to that pole. There it is. Now we got it. We're rolling the dice. Running two loads. The white western star came through. She shines like the sun. Just up ahead here is the sawmill. We're almost there. And it turns out that this is actually the muckier part of the road up here on top. I guess we did struggle in the first episode. We pulled that service trailer from the top of the hill up there by the tower. We used the Chevy to pull that service trailer back and down the road. It did struggle through here because of the mud. All right, and we have arrived. We'll get this turned in. That was a pretty good little trip, actually. One and two. Okay, we'll leave this truck here. We're gonna jump in the P16. I would head straight there from here, but I can't because I don't have the logging add-on, so we'll have to recover. We don't have to, but I'm going to. And we'll get the logging add-on. It's time to hit the road, Jack. Yeah, that's right. We'll grab a logging trailer, and we're all set. Back to the logging station to get long logs. Got to be careful coming out of the garage there. That first guardrail gets me every time. We'll take the back road so we don't have to worry about smashing our truck up on guardrails without the proper tires. This thing will get a, a decent performance boost too once we get the final engine and the advanced advanced special gearbox will give it a five speed auto and a low plus and low minus. So that will be an improvement also. Although it is running pretty decent with the special, the stock gearbox, four speed. It's not having any issues at all running these back roads. Just a trekking, trekking through the backwoods of Alaska in the proper truck. I would venture to say that there has been probably many P16s that have run through the backwoods of Alaska in real life. Many. Doesn't seem to have any issue at all. It was meant for this. This time I'm going to take the road in because I don't even want to deal with trying to turn this around. And then we'll exit out the little shortcut so we don't have to drive this road back out loaded. I know it wouldn't have any issue. It's just a matter of uh, quality of life thing, you know? 
Sometimes it's just nice to take the easier route with less headache. We've got plenty of headache ahead of us. We're not even close to being done with this region. All right, now that we're here, get some long logs loaded. It's <laughs> just bouncing. Yeah. Well, better get turning. This thing isn't the sharpest turning. There we go. We'll just drive right out here. Probably grab some fuel just to top off before we hit the road. And then I'll mark out the path because we're taking a different route this time than we did with the White Western Star. All right, let's get fueled up and we'll mark this out. This will be a shorter trip than the one we just took, but not necessarily better. We'll follow this path all the way around. This is highway here. Go by our maintenance trailer and we can probably top off there one more time. I don't foresee us burning all of this fuel, but I like to have a full tank. This section here is definitely treacherous that we just marked out. And then we'll end up right by the sawmill when we're done. So that's our path. This is facing north, so this is our path. Should be pretty decent. Let's get it done. All right, here we go. We could do some interior driving, first person view. Sometimes it's easier to drive this way, you know? We might have trouble fitting through the ice right here. Back tires are kind of wide. Oh no, we'll be fine. It just had a different perspective when I was in first person there, you know? Sometimes it looks like the road is smaller than it actually is compared to the truck. But we're doing okay. Just keep trucking, man. Don't stop. You can hear that engine sound. It really wants to go. And why wouldn't it? It was born for this. Out here stretching its legs in the Alaskan frontier. I thought it was going to power out. It didn't, though. We're good. We might power out in a couple sections on this trip. Try to keep the RPMs up if we can. It's tough, though, you know, and it's a lot of weight here. The truck is heavy as hell by itself without any logs. But it's getting the job done, right? Just cruising, man. This thing is cruising. It's doing a good job. Back to the road. Okay. Get turned back around so we can see where we're driving. It's definitely not as responsive with the steering on the ice. And up ahead is the maintenance trailer. Back over by the factory again. We'll stop here and top off. We burned 17 liters on the way here. 17 or 27. I don't remember what it was now. Either way, it wasn't very much. Now we head into the nasty stuff. Might get a little tough going up this hill. I'm gonna put it in high, see how far we can make it before it starts to power out. It's doing okay so far. Keep going, man. Usually it powers out in high, so this is actually doing pretty good. And this section right here is, is tough. This snow is definitely sticky. I can't believe it's out oh, there, it did power it out. All right, back to auto. I think auto works better than low in most situations with this thing. It's kind of like the Tatarin. It performs better in auto than low. I think we got this in the bag. Just seeing how easy it went through that snow, pretty sure we're not going to have any issues. And as long as we can keep it in high, these hills shouldn't be a problem either. We're doing good on time too. Across the lake here. I think this is the first time we've gone this way since we started this map. So this will be a new new route for us. There's a reason why I avoid it, and the reason is right here. The snow is deep, and the hill is steep, but it seems like we're doing okay. Come on. Don't give up on me. Hell yeah. Just trucking. That was no issue. Got right through there. Keep going. Keep the speed up. Got a second hill here. This front bumper definitely helps, too. Keeping some clearance. We're leaning a little, but nothing too serious. Nothing to write home about. And trucking right through there. No problem. No problem. Look at that. And we're almost there. This is definitely the shorter route. If you have a truck that can handle that terrain, which most of them don't handle it as well as this one did. But this thing was built for that. One more hill to climb, and then we're in the home stretch. I'll see if High will get the job done again. High seems to do a good job. Although the P16 usually struggles to keep the RPMs up enough. It's not doing bad now though. We still have the mid-level engine in it with the standard special gearbox. All right, we made it up over the top. Now it's just getting there. No problem at all. I'm gonna cut through the fence because I really like knocking these fences down. Nobody ever complains. Meeting back up with the White Western Star. Hey buddy, 
How you doing? And boom, rank 23. Got another $5,670. That's good. Let's drop this here. We have one task left. We're going to jump into the Fleet Star. Vroom, vroom. I hate leaving trailers out in the middle of nowhere like this. Because then it's almost like saying we're never going to use it again. I was thinking about selling it, but it's not that big of a deal to sell. I'll just get it pulled out to a place where if we want to use it again, I don't have to travel that far to get it. I guess I can't really pull it too far. I'll just leave it here. This is where we're going to leave partways, trailer. You're on your own. Okay, we'll take the Fleet Star. We're going to go cross country here and go get that last fuel trailer and deliver it for the oil tank delivery. Come on. You know what? I'm going to bring that trailer with because I just had an idea for later. Really hope I don't run out of fuel here, though. There we go. Get connected to that again. Sometimes plans change, you know? The strategy of this game, my, my personal strategy, everybody's personal strategy is what I'm referring to. It seems to be constantly evolving and constantly changing. I like to try new things all the time. I have definitely have methods that I that I have used for a very long time. And some things don't really change because I've just proven to myself that for me personally, they tend to be the most efficient. Even with those, I like to implement them in new ways sometimes. Never be afraid to try something different. Even if you think you have the best uh, strategy for anything in this game, just try something different with it, right? Change it up a little, see if it works better. If it doesn't, at least you know for next time. Trudging through here has been tough for us each time we've come through here, but it's not horrible, it's just not easy. We're heading to the drill site, is where we're going. The next contract on our list is going to be in Mountain River to deliver four oil barrels. I believe it's called Mountain Delivery. We're going by the watchtower here, by the oil field, getting to know this area pretty well, right in the middle of the map. And then we'll hang a lefty over to the drill site here. We'll get loaded up. So usually I use whatever truck I have sitting here with the low saddle trailer. In this case, it's the Royal. Usually I use this truck for this job. But like I said, I like to, I like to change it up. I like to try different things. Definitely need to get some fuel. I definitely usually do not take this path, the rock crossing, but I'm going to. And if it ends in catastrophe, well, then we'll just <laughs> scrap this plan. We still have the Royal sitting there, but we're gonna give it a shot. Because if it doesn't end in catastrophe, it could be a good thing. I'll slow down a little bit here so I don't completely destroy my truck going across the rocks. This is where we picked up the Hummer. I just about drove off the rocks there. Let me get situated. So we picked up the Hummer here a couple episodes back and I'm having trouble getting up there. Come on, let's bounce up there. We gotta get a little different angle, I think. There we go, come on. No, I thought I had it. All right, I'm gonna drop the trailer. Oh, I see what's going on. The trailer is stuck on the rocks back there, falling off into the cliff, or into the lake, falling off the cliff. There we go. Okay, so I got it pulled up there with the winch. Now I'm gonna connect to it. Should be good now. As long as we don't drive off the side, we're all right. Got a giant rock. It's got me leaning, got my lean on. All right, we made it across. Let me just stop here for a second. I'm going to show you all on the map what we're doing. We were just here. We traveled across the rock bridge there. And now we're pointed this way. Okay, we're going to come up here, come across, follow this road. This is where we pulled the Hummer across all of these. And we'll follow it up to here and then grab the oil tanker. Then we're going to come back across here, here, back to the highway. So you got an idea now what we're doing. Going all the way to there. That's our path. Let's do it. We got a full tank of fuel, so if it, if we trudge through here and it takes a little little while and burns up some fuel, that's fine. Because we're going to get a fuel trailer, so we can fuel up again when we get to it if we need to. I don't think we know. we'll need to, though. Doing good so far. It's a little slow moving, but at least we're moving. It's not slow moving from being stuck. It's just 
heavy load. Heavy trailer, heavy load, four oil barrels, that's a lot of weight. I like to cut across here instead of following that road around the trees. It's just a little bit quicker to go this way. You don't have to try to make that sharp corner. And we're back to the road. Do need to get straightened out. There we go. I'm just gonna run it without the all-wheel drive now, if I can. Pull myself over a little bit. It's tough steering when you have this heavy of a load on the truck. Front tires just do not have any weight on them. This is a little bit, little bit of a worse section, so I'm just gonna pull a winch. Help me through here. And we're getting close now. You can see the, you can see the diamond there on the left. It says, hey, your load is pretty close. It's right here. Probably could have just hooked right up across the snow there instead of driving this way, instead of trudging through this mud. This isn't bad though. We have arrived. I think I'll just try driving right through the water here. I don't think it's a very bad. It's a couple big rocks in there, but nothing too serious. And instead of pulling this trailer with the oil tankers on it, or the oil, whatever the heck they're called, oil barrels, instead of pulling it over there, I'm just gonna pull it this way because this is the way we're leaving and then I'll drop it and I'll back up and go get that fuel trailer. Try to get it up here on some solid ground. Very good. Okay, we'll leave it here and unhook from it there. We'll back up. Just gonna back over there. No sense in trying to turn around, I don't think. And I should be able to just back straight up next to this tree and just hook my winch onto it. It's a little deep right there. Kind of doing a wibble wobble. Can I reach the trailer hitch from here? Yes. All right, I'm just gonna pull it out, come out of there. Now, like I said before, we could go that way up the road and from here, it doesn't look that bad, right? But once you get up there, it's just death snow. Really, really nasty stuff. If you think this is slow, this is fast compared to that death snow. That stuff is like this for a solid five minutes straight. Perfect. We'll leave that there, Back to that. And look at that, we have a convoy, we're ready to go. Next stop is going to be the fuel station. We got oil, we got fuel, whatever. Whatever you need, we got it. This is North Star trucking going on here. We're back to the road. Garage is just right over there, but we're not going to the garage, we're going to the, to the fuel station. So I'm gonna make a wide turn here because that trailer, I don't want that trailer to get hung up on this pole. I also don't want that sign in my bumper. We're good. We cleared it. Okay, next stop, fuel station. To be highway the entire way. As long as we don't get hung up on any rocks over here, we should be just fine. Road closed. It is not closed. Good thing we cleared these rocks out of the way with the White Western Star a little while ago. Stop. There we go. We're gonna have to use the winch for a minute to get up this icy section. Try to get my truck on the side of the road where there's a little bit of traction. I'm gonna have to winch that trailer up here. My tires are just spinning, trying to hold my position. Now I'll let go of that again, and I'll winch from here to the pole. Just get a little bit further up, and then grab back onto the trailer. Hopefully we can keep moving here. Yes, we can. We got it. Just have to watch out for this rock formation on my left here. That thing. When you don't have chain tires, that thing gets it bad. Go back to the trailer view so we can see what's going on behind us here. All right, we're in the home stretch now. Still have plenty of fuel. Right around half a tank now, and we're doing okay. So we've reached this corner. We'll get around it, hopefully. We're doing good. Okay, so just around this corner and down the hill is our drop off. We're really close. And then after this, all of the contracts and tasks in Northport will be complete. I'll grab some fuel for my truck while I'm driving through here and we'll drop it off right in the box there. Good job. We're gonna leave it here for today. Appreciate everybody coming out. On the next episode, we'll get started scouting Mountain River. Get those upgrades that we've been wanting for oh so very long. Looking forward to it. Hopefully you are too. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.